Welcome back, everyone. There are still two more days to catch local, national, and international films at the Heartland Film Festival. Breaking Away was filmed in Bloomington in 1979 and still remains a celebrated, unique classic. It's about the Little 500 at IU and a small group of bikers called the Cutters. Let's take a look. 20th Century Fox presents Breaking Away, the story of four guys in imminent danger of turning 20. All right! How you doing, guys? Well, we're a little disturbed by the developments in the Middle East, but... ...who refuse to give up immaturity without a fight. Smart move, shorty. Yeah. <laughs> Ma party. Love. <laughs> what did if you only just say? knew the what? behind the scenes happening. Dennis Christopher <laughs> is with us, the star of the film. Patty Spiller, of course, yes. from Great Day TV has yes. brought him in today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. This is, what did you just say when we were in the break? Uh, well, I was very <laughs> nervous the night we shot the opera scene, and the director kept bringing little nips of brandy around to my trailer. <laughs> and by the time we lit the outside and got all the girls in the sorority house and everything, I was three sheets to the wind because <laughs> I don't really drink. <laughs> you won't get that anywhere else. How about That's that? Your, so thankfully, you up. You up. Thank, thankfully, <laughs> we didn't shoot the singing until the second night. <laughs> and when he came with the brandy, I would not let you him in. You were a little in control okay. at that not point. Not at all. Okay. Some it, amazing it, memories, though, looking at those, looking at that movie preview. 40 years ago, <laughs> 79. And sadly, the quarries aren't really there anymore. They've drained the quarries. Oh, but that's true. you'll get to visit them again by seeing the movie. And I want to ask everybody to come down to Newfield tonight because we still have a few tickets left for mm -hmm. the film festival and it's going to be great fun. And you're going to be there. Well, yes. <laughs> well, yes, yes. So I'm you can ask him all kinds of questions <laughs> then about what really happened behind the scenes. Tell me another one then. As you watch that preview, what else popped into your mind as you were kind of reminiscing on those scenes? We were so damn young. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, it's funny because Dennis Quaid and I were great friends before the film. Uh, Jackie and I became friends on the film. I just right. saw um, Danny Stern last week. There's our uh, a writer, a screen, screenwriter, uh, Steve Tessich, the late Steve Oh, look Tessich. at the shorts. <laughs> and he went to IU and wrote the film about his experience about in The Little 500. Well, and folks, that's him. That's, the little, there he goes, The Little 500. That's the guy that I played. That's Dave Blaze. That's <laughs> yep. the real cutter of the film. Oh, and it had some history into it, but you also got to do some amazing movie making. In 1979, of course, they're still making movies on reels. You know, it's, 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 yeah. it's the, oh, you know what I mean? I it's a tape, it's not digital. No, it's film. We were out there doing oh, all of that stuff. I was on that. Oh, there's the famous Some shot. of the stunts. Yeah, yeah. look at that. It's, it's the a cinematographer sitting backwards on a motorcycle, not holding on. Huge yeah, you couldn't do that shoulder. now. They would, yeah. they would not let you do that. Uh, now, you just told me before, we, before Brenna came up, this is the, what was it, the hardest thing you've ever done? Well, it was a, the hardest work I've ever done in my life, between the, the training, the oh. opera singing, and <laughs> just the, the movie branding. itself. I guess I never had a lead in a movie before, and it was quite involving. Um, people always say, did you have fun? And I said, well, fun and accomplishment can often be two different things. Hmm. Fun is fun, the other is your work, and you get a feeling inside that's different. Well, and what's interesting is for the viewer, when you watch that movie, you get the fun. You know, it doesn't seem like you're slaving away, making sure you're making your money as an actor. You know, it just seems like such an adventure with these right. college kids. Well, it's <laughs> and it still stands up today. That's it still does. 40 it's years, how many people do something 40 years ago that still is relevant yeah. Yeah. I, I often say, you know, I had a job 40 years ago, and from that point on, I've been greeted with such goodwill by oh, people like you and people in the street that the movie means a lot to them. Mm. It really is an American classic and a sports classic as well. And you can watch it tonight at Newfields. Uh, We've and got a great print, if you can just say a, that. A print, right. Yeah, it's remastered. It yeah. still looks fantastic, it's a beautiful, though. It's, it's going to be a beautiful presentation tonight, so do come on down. Please yes. do. Patty, you've got Great Day TV right after this? Great Day TV is on after this. and then Pet I, I just found out that Dennis is also a big pet lover. So <laughs> I should have brought Stewie or Mabel. <laughs> Great Day TV, 10 to 10.30, 10.30 to 11, Pet Pals TV, and you're going to see fabulous trainer. We've also got horses that help us uh, with therapeutic riding, agape. Okay. You put a, a child or an adult that has some issues or some challenges, mm -hmm. put them on a horse and all of a sudden everything gets better.
Fantastic. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Pat. So glad to have you, you on, Dennis Christensen. Ah, lipstick. Fantastic. Good day to go for a bike ride. Maybe you can reminisce outside a little bit oh, today. Oh, absolutely. We'll yeah, put yeah. him on a bike, Marcus. I'll bring the brand. 70 degrees. Make it an e-bike, please. <laughs> oh, yes. Very well.